In this lecture, we will present an example problem that will let us further explore the principles of modular design, information encoding, and Boolean expression minimization. The circuit we will design compares two unsigned binary numbers and outputs which number is greater. We will index each bit of these numbers from least to greatest weight. To compare these two four-bit numbers, we could design a circuit that compares all eight bits at once. However, that scale of design can be very cumbersome. For example, we would not want to compare two 64-bit numbers at once and design a 128-input circuit in one step. Rather, it would be much easier to use modular design and compare only two bits at a time, and then use the result of that comparison to inform the comparison of another set of bits. If we start with the least significant bits, their comparison will show that the two numbers are equal. When we compare the next most significant bits, we see that the most significant bit of A is less than the most significant bit of B. So A is less than B at this point in the comparison. When we compare the next most significant bits, these bits are equivalent. So we must look at the past comparisons to figure out about the relationship of A and B because previous comparisons have found that A is less than B, A is less than B throughout this part of the comparison. Finally, when we compare the most significant bits, the most significant bit of A <coughs> is greater than the most significant bit of B, so A is greater than B. For each stage of the comparison, we needed to know what previous comparisons had found about the two numbers and we need to know the value of the two most significant bits of A and B up to that point of the comparison. Notice that we did not need to know the exact bits of A and B from previous comparisons. To make this algorithm for every bit the same, we need to pretend like we did a comparison prior to comparing the least significant bits. Now there are only three possible results of these comparisons so we will need to use a minimum of two bits to encode these three results. To create our comparator circuit, we will need to compare two bits of A and B at a time, and we will need to pass two bits between modules to pass along the results of previous comparisons. Finally, we will need to assign a binary encoding to each of the three comparison results. This assignment of encodings is arbitrary, but some encodings may yield simpler circuits than others. To create our minimal circuit, let's use k-maps for our design process. For this first k-map, we will use symbols as our outputs, and then we will encode our symbols into binary values. First, because each module must output less than, equal to, or greater than, our circuit should never receive the 1-0 encoding, so we don't care what our circuit outputs for these input values. Whenever the current most significant bit of A is less than the current most significant bit of B, our comparison should yield that A is less than B. Whenever the current most significant bit of A is greater than the current most significant bit of B, our comparison should yield that A is greater than B. No surprise there. Now, we have three cases for when the current most significant bit of A is equal to the current most significant bit of B. When previous comparisons have revealed that A is less than B, the comparison should continue to yield that A is less than B. Similarly, when previous comparisons have revealed that A is greater than B, the comparison should continue to yield that A is greater than B. Finally, when previous comparisons have revealed that A is equal to B, the comparison should continue to yield that A is equal to B. Now that we have completed our symbol K-map, Let's encode our symbols into binary values. Then, we can split this new k-map into two separate k-maps, one for each output variable. We can then solve these two k-maps to find the minimal expression for each comparator output. To recap, we just designed a minimal comparator circuit by using k-maps, information encoding, and modular design. 
The great thing about this modular design is that it can scale to any size architecture. We can compare two 4-bit numbers, or we can compare two 64-bit numbers with these modules. We simply need to add more modules. Because each module is optimized, any size compared to module should also be relatively optimized. I want to challenge you, though, to design a more efficient comparator. I have purposely chosen to design a comparator that is not necessarily the best design. How would you improve on it?